My name is Jim Avett. That don't mean a whole lot. I'm from Cabarrus County. Got a farm down there. Got cows and chickens and all that stuff. We've lived down there for about 40 years now. Uh, I write some songs. Um, one that I wrote called Old Bones. And the reason I call it Old Bones is Tom T. Hall told me that if you write a song about somebody's relative, they'll want to come kill you. <laughs> he wasn't lying. He was telling the truth. Anyway, uh, this guy was hung about uh, 150 yards from uh, my front porch. And they laid him on the ground and covered him up with stones. And it's easy to write a, a murder song. All you gotta do is get somebody to tell you what happened and then make their words rhyme. And if you don't have enough words, get somebody else to tell you what happened and use that. And all you gotta do is add in a minor chord, you got it. This guy was hung because he shot a guy who was messing with his wife. I say, does he have a right to protect what he owns? I'm not talking about the woman, I'm talking about the relationship. But anyway. Over in the pasture where the green grass grows, there's a big pile of stones on the little pile of bones, ain't it? Nobody knows about this, and nobody cares. I was standing there wondering about the rocks and such when an old man came up and told me about bones is bad luck. Old Bones heard a man bragging about messing with his wife. He told some others that man would pay with his life if he found him out. He would shoot to kill. It didn't take long, the guilty party was found. Old Bones sealed a deal, left him dead on the ground. Well, Big John Law rode up in a gang. They arrested him and said he should hang. And right here we come to a question I think ought to be heard. Does a man have the right to protect what he owns? Ain't that God's way of spinning the herd? So they hung old bones, he said goodbye to his wife. For a fit of rage, he paid with his life. Ain't it funny how we react to strife? Old Bones paid the price for what he had done. The guilty man paid for just having some fun. I ain't judging here what's right and what's wrong. Just a thought about how society moves along. Seems to me only the guilty should pay with their bones. Just wondering here what's right and who's wrong and who ought to be under all of them stones.